You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. But yeah, he's not quite young, but he's very beautiful. Mm. Yeah. So, hello, welcome to Chewing the Cud. Our extra special guest host, George. Say hello, George. Oh. That's deep voice, such a young dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you doing today, Lee? I'm fine, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hi, George. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's quite happy. He's just staring at issues. Yeah. He's judging your outfit. Well, you know. As any gay dog should. He won't be the first. No, no, you go over there. Good boy. So what have you got in the show business today? I have got some a story about a celebrity who's been made into a Barbie dog. Oh. Not actually themselves made oh, right, into okay. a Barbie dog. <laughs> their, their image has been made into a Barbie dog. <laughs> They've not been ground up and, and no. shoved through no. their form. Oh, okay. Um, well, on screen now, you can see all the ways of contacting us. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can also follow us. The could.tv is our website, and of course on YouTube and <laughs> podcast services, just look for Chewing the Cud and click subscribe. You enjoying your, your little unicorn there, George? <laughs> and the names of the people who have reached out and touched us on social media, their names scroll along the bottom of the screen. It's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Before we start the Buzz, um, I need to... Just bring something out I've noticed. You know, the hookup apps and stuff? I'm aware of yeah. that. Um, well, people are turning to those to find lost friends. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one has particularly caught my eye. So um, a number of people have been searching for this individual, Dominic Top, who's described as masculine and between the ages of 33 and 40. Dominic, or Dom, as people know you, if you're out there, please get in touch. And please, everyone else, share the hashtag FindDomTop. Yes, but I do my little bit for the community. Try, try your best, people. Yes, everyone needs to find Dom Top. Mm. If, you know, if you've yeah. been friends with him before. Yeah, not or, or not. Haven't. Just, just share the hashtag, find Dom Top. Yeah. Um, but moving on to something a little bit lighter hearted, mm. trying to find people. Okay. Um, sometimes we businesses come up with names that don't work very well. So do you remember um, Susan Boyle's hashtag? An album anal party. party. <laughs> an anal bomb party. Yes. Yeah, which said an album party. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, there's a new pizza company that's been launched, okay, called uh, Welsh Italian Pizza. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, what would you read that as? <laughs> well, now, now that you've told me what it is, uh -huh. I can see it. But at first glance, I would say we shit on all pizza. <laughs> well, it actually says Welsh it, alien pizza. Alien pizza. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Okay. So yeah, what kind of what kind of pizza do you think the little green men would eat? I, I, I don't really know. I, I don't think they've thought that through, have they? If not at all. No. So you should always read through a hashtag. You should always read through a hashtag. Yeah, especially if there's something like find Dom Top. Yes. Yeah. Got them on a t-shirt though, haven't you? <laughs> what, find Dom Top? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're right there, George. He's getting ready to hump that blanket, you know. <laughs> He's, he's making himself very comfortable. It's it's nice to see. Yeah, he's, he's, he's rearranging things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy the set while you're here. Um, I just thought that was a, a nice, interesting little. We all shit on alien pizzas. <laughs> we all, oh, well shit. It's alien well shit. Pizza. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Not we all shit. No. That is realised, isn't there? Yeah. Um, but talking about food, McDonald's. Loving it. <laughs> Really, I'm loving it. Uh, kind of appreciate it in a way, yeah. Yeah. Um. So they've, you know, the war in Ukraine. Yeah. A lot of companies have pulled out of Russia. Yeah. Okay. And McDonald's is one that's pulled out of Russia completely, hasn't it? Pulled out. Closed completely. the whole thing down. Yes. Um. They've been there since 1990. Yeah. Um. And it was the sign of the end of communism when mm. McDonald's were able to then was queues up for burgers and things. Um. Yeah, he's about to jump, don't worry. He's just gonna, he's gonna leave. He's gonna suicide squad it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Flying monkeys. Yeah. Um, go on and get down. Oh, go find producer Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Got the treats. Um, well, the Russian state have decided they're gonna launch their own version of McDonald's. They've reopened 15 of the restaurants, right? And their new logo, which some people are saying looks a bit like the Marriott Hotel logo. Okay. Which still operates in, in Russia. In Russia, right. It's supposed to be a burger and two fries. Okay. Okay. That's it. Oh, okay. Or, or, or an old Visa card. 
Maestro. Logo. Maestro. Yeah, yeah. Cross between Maestro and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do they, so they'll have to make because obviously McDonald's is gone, so they can't mm -hmm. use their recipes. So they'll have to use their own burger recipes, won't they? Oh, it's only meat and bread. It's not. They have like secret recipes, don't they? All it is to put um, the pickle juice in the mayonnaise. Pickle juice. Pickle juice in the mayonnaise. That's all that's in um, Big Mac sauce. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <Did> nice. <you know? laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Just thought I'd share that with you. Okay. Um, I mean, it, the people that worked in the McDonald's mm -hmm. lost their jobs just immediately. So that is not a good thing. No, it's not. Um, but consequences for actions, aren't there? Yeah, but it's not really the people's fault. That, no, it's uh, not the people's fault. Um, so some people have d described the, the look as the Marriott Hotel chain mixed with the flag of Bangladesh. Oh. Are they, like, re-developing the insides? Are they just uh, reopening they're just, the... They're just re Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Um, they've decided that they're going to call it My Burger. My Burger. My Burger. OK. Not McDonald's. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they've just removed the branding, slapped their own branding up and called everything mm. My Burger. Right, OK. Well, not very happy meals, though, would they be? Nah. Okay. Sad times. <laughs> Sad times indeed. Um, but if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the TV, and our website is thecud.tv. And we're going to go over to our story of the week. Hey, okay? uh, you know, as, as a tradition has arisen, I like to get to try things. Have you been drinking? <laughs> I have been drinking, yes. <laughs> Which sounds quite nicely to the story. <laughs> um, I've got you something to try. <sighs> what, what are you deep sighing for? It's always something horrible. It's not something horrible. This is a lovely beer. Is it a sample? It's not, it's a beer. If, you're, if your sample's fizzy, you've got something wrong. Cheers, cheers. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, crystal. Um, crystal. Is it not crystal? Yeah, yeah. It's hand blown. Glass. Yeah. I don't like beer and it tastes like piss. <laughs> it doesn't taste like it's tasty, this. I've tasted it. Yeah, okay. It's beer. Um, yeah, so uh, New Delhi, a, Sing a Singaporean beer company, okay. so this one out, um, has taken innovations in beer brewing. Okay. Um, and this is called New Brew. Has they've it... been passed through some animal's digestive system. No, no, no. Um, it, it, it tastes like a usual beer, right? It's an unconventional twist, which is it's, it's majoring um, sewage. Oh, you dirty... <laughs> 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 what? It's made out of shit water, isn't it? <laughs> And pool water, sewage, yeah. Which they filter and make into a lovely beer. No, oh, that's delightful. Yeah, well, you've, you've tasted it. I'm not tasting any more. <laughs> yeah. See, that's this, yeah. No. Mm. It's good. Well, I don't have this. I've just got normal um, Budweiser. Oh, and you've <laughs> given me that disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not disgusting. It tastes just the same as beer. Yeah. But I'm. Well, I suppose water comes out of our taps. Yeah. Has been it's, through it's, that it's, system. It's about reusing the water. So it has been mm. cleaned and it has been filtered. But they're literally taking the water directly out of the sewage, filtering it, and then making a beer with it. Ooh. Um, and it's part of a way of, of thinking greener, you know, preserving water where they can. Which I thought was a really good idea. Mm. Will you really be buying buying it, Mike? I'll be buying more of this beer. That beer, but not, not the not the actual No, that was expensive. Uh, well I can imagine it's you, you, you to come from Singapore. All the way from Singapore. Yeah. Um, apparently, yours has got uh, a honey-like aftertaste. I shall be the judge of that. Yeah. That's I, I watch programs. <laughs> I know that's what they do. <laughs> I've watched programs. Just tastes like beer. Tastes tastes like beer. Doesn't have a honey aftertaste. I don't know how people drink beer. It's horrible. I love a lager. Mm. Oh, a nice lager on a hot day. No, not yeah. keen. No, um, it was it was launched in April. But they've, they've been a big to... success, has it? Yes. So Surprisingly. It's like that. Um, what was the coffee that was the coffee beans that were passed through some animals? That's still a thing. Is it still a thing? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Because they, they use the, the animals' intestines to break down the coffee beans. Mm. And then it was. Is it pigs? I'm not sure. Goats? Goats. <laughs> Just chickens? No, not chickens. <laughs> I want to say. Cows? No. Cows, sheep. I, would, I want to say goats. You want to say goats? I want to say goats. <laughs> Just want to say goats. I'm going to say goats. 
<laughs> Any other animals you want to mention? No, Just I can't those. imagine it's a big animal. So I think it's a big animal. I think it's like an elephant or something. I think it's more like something. No. I think it's, I a think big it's more like a meerkat or something like that. Loads of coffee to an elephant because you get more through, wouldn't you? Big poo, elephant poo. Mm. Can't get that in a coffee cup, though. Why don't you just put a little bit? You don't have to put the whole poo in, do you? No. Just fish out the, yeah. the lovely beans. Yeah, we'll Google it later. Yeah, yeah, we could Google it now if you wanted to. No, I'll do it later. I'm not in that much of a hurry. To, oh, right, okay, yeah. fair enough yeah. then. Um, but that's all from the buzz this week. Oh, thanks for that, Mike, for your, your informative piss beer. Um, yeah. Pleasure as always, Lee. We'll come up next. It's the showbiz. You're watching Chew in the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. We've got a... Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. <laughs> We've got a smorgasbord of showbiz today. Who a smorgasbord? A lot of it. Starting off with Lauren Cox, oh. the actor slash singer mm -hmm. slash performer. So she's she's mainly famous for being in Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. um, and among the things, she's done loads of other different roles and different different um, projects and things. She has, she has become the honour of having a Barbie doll made in her likeness. The okay. first trans person to have this done. So it's a, quite, right. a lot of celebrities have had Barbie dolls made of them, mm -hmm. but she's the first trans person. This is her with her Barbie doll. Okay. As if, you, as, you know, just to kind of point that out. Um, so yeah. She's plastic and smiling. Yeah, I mean, so she's, so she, apparently she was one of these celebrities that kind of hid her age and has recently actually told how old she is. How old is she? So she's 50. Um, and she kept, she kept, she, she, she looks good. Well, you know. For 50. I'm say that up in my way, but you haven't, so it's okay. Um, so she, Because <laughs> no, no, you're not 50, are you, Lee? No. No. <laughs> I'm not. No, no. No. So Mattel have done this, 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 this image of her that's uh -huh. now in the shops. People can go and buy it. Um, what she's saying is that it's been a dream for years to work with Barbie to create um, a, a doll in, in my image so that kids that were like her when she was a child have got something to identify with. There's a picture. It has all sorts of different fancy outfits and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's, she said it's, you know, it's something that when she was a kid, she would have loved, yeah. um, but never thought it was possible. So they've, they've, now I have to say, this is a picture of it, the actual thing. <laughs> I don't think it's that great likeness, to be honest. Um, they've, they're, they're saying that they've used the high, this high technology to like map the face so that they can create an exact image. Not really. They've missed something. Really. Um, yeah. Um, which, yeah. Ooh, bit awkward. Um, but bit, but I, it's, it's, it's good that, you know, they're finally making that, that representation out there. Yeah. Good, good yeah. for Barbie. So yeah. it, it comes in a different different variety of looks, red carpet looks. She was involved in all the kind of creative process, um, choosing outfits. Um, I don't know whether at some point she might have said, not really a lot like me, <laughs> that doesn't like, it? Um, a, maybe that's the point she's saying, going, uh, I wish my cheekbones were a little bit higher. <laughs> <laughs> the aspiration of Laura, <laughs> Laura Cox. I would imagine it's only a matter of time because on the internet, there's this bigger community of people that... Um, make over Barbies. They like give them like really realistic makeovers and you can sit and watch them. So they like, wipe the faces off with acetone and then they re <laughs> they draw them back on. And they're they're abs why are you laughing? That's what they do. That's how they get the faces off. <laughs> they, they just wipe the faces off with acetone and re give them a new face. Yeah, but but really realistic and, okay. and it's really intricate. So I would imagine that would happen. But you know if you're if you're a kid and you like identify with with Lauren they're not cheap. Oh, they're about they 30, 40 quid. Um, yeah. I think, it's, yeah. I think it's going to be good that, you know, if, if we get, it's like, all kids just have access to this doll. And if they like it, they like it. They like it. And that's, I think that's much better as a representation piece than going, oh, this is for the trans kids. Yeah, it's just kids. there. It's if about, you want it, you can buy it. I mean, the, and then you know, but Mattel have, have done all sorts of stuff in the past. They've, they've done, like, a women's iconic range and they've had Lucille Ball was was, was one of the Barbie dolls. I love Lucille Ball. Um, they also recently did Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, but well done. 
Well done, Queen Elizabeth. She doesn't give a crap. Um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Ninetyod. She's nine. She's nearly a hundred. I would. I yeah. like slightly younger than that, and I don't care either. <laughs> so like... why not? Why? Why would I want? We're not getting into platitudes. We're not getting into that. <laughs> oh, um, I hated that. I loved it. Platy jubes. Hashtag platy jubes. No, no need. It was the British way of reducing something <laughs> that was supposed to be really important to just a crap hashtag. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing, like the platinum jubilee, the first one that's ever happened, <laughs> right, and probably the last one that's going to happen for a very long time. Mm. Right? It's like, let's call it platy jubes. Let's not. Um, anyway, let's move on. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Minogue fan, both of the Kylie and of the Danny. I prefer a Danny than a Kylie. Do you prefer it? Well, this is good because this is about the Danny. Oh. So Danny Minogue is coming back to the UK. She's going to be fronting a new gay dating show. Oh. Um, so this is going she, on to... She had work done again. I don't know. We've got a picture of her. We've got... Well, we'll come to a picture of her. This is this is a picture of the poster of the, okay. the, the show. It's going to call I Kissed a Boy. Okay. <sighs> Just one? Um, I'm not sure. So Six. yeah, it's it's a, it's a newly announced reality series. That's a working title. I kissed a boy. Oh, okay. I would imagine if Katy Perry will want a few coins because that. Well, she kissed a girl. Oh, she did, didn't she? Yeah. I know what they've done there. They've kind of like yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, so it follows <laughs> ten single men as they search for their Mister Right in Europe. Okay. Um, so the concept sees the, the paired with the strongest match and kiss as soon as they meet. Okay. However, everyone is a possible love interest, and over the course of the eight-part series, we will see who will ignite a spark and whose eyes will wander. Grinder in real life. It's, so it's like a filmed version of Grinder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, um, okay. So <laughs> what Danny, <laughs> what Danny is saying? <laughs> Every time they like they introduce each other, they go. <laughs> Pants down. Um, so, <laughs> in, so, 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 hi, my name's like, uh, oh, I seem to have dropped my trousers. <laughs> to be fair, though, they probably all know each other anyway. I'd laugh so hard. Like, oh, no, I've had you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awkward. Um, <laughs> we so, lived together for six years. <laughs> Danny is saying, she said, there are a million people in the UK looking for love. And I believe love is for everyone. So I'm thrilled to be, um, for a gay dating show, to be entering the sea of other dating shows. The sea of other dating shows that have we'll been see. existed on TV for you for years. Love Island. Um, so she goes on to say, oh, no. she's been a staunch ally to the LGBTQ plus community for as long as she can remember. Her close friends know that it was her dream job that, that, to, that if she had a dream job, it would be a Cupid. So this gives me a little flutter of love feeling inside too. I hate it when you get a flutter inside. Um, just to be a part of it, let's hope there's a love sealed with a kiss. Now, I mean, she had, we've got a picture here of, of Danny at Mardi Gras a couple of years ago in Manchester. Um, that I think, is that Bianca Del Rio? Yeah. And... Um, the other one? Courtney Act. Courtney Act. And the other one. Uh, Courtney Act. Oh, um, I'm so glad you don't do our showbiz. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, she's she's really up for it. It's, I Kissed a Boy is is a positive step for, for this is what the blurb says, uh -huh. a positive step for, for dating. I mean, we've had, we've had gay dating shows before on, on television. Some are not as good as it. There was the one on Channel 4 where... There was like a mixture of gay men and straight men, and the oh, the woman had to try and yeah, work yeah. out who was gay and who was not. That was awful. Then there was the the notorious Australian one where the woman who was looking for a, a boyfriend was a trans woman, but they didn't tell the men, and then revealed it on the last. That was the most horrific, horrific bit of television yeah. ever. Um, this is Danny now. Oh, so she's back on the work then. She, well, well, you know, if you can afford it. Have well, she, she took a break, didn't she? Took a break from the work. Yeah, because when she was when she was birthing, a child's like twelve now. I know it's not that long ago. She's she's done other things. She's she does in Australia. She does her Danny Petites range of clothing in in Australia, <laughs> and she's been doing things like the Masked Singer in Australia. Oh, okay. She's a judge on that, so she's not like yeah, don't, done watch, don't watch a lot of Australian TV. No, well, neither do I. Australia, but so, um, yeah. you know, she's still working. Still working. She's still keeping. But she's it, coming. She's so, keeping it so it's coming. This is I kissed a boy. It's coming to to BBC Three imminently. Okay, cool. We'll see. Um, that's so I, wonder, I wonder if, if ITV are watching, oh, that's going to be logistically difficult. Which is what they said about Love Island when they said, well, what about having LGBTQ people on the show? And they went, oh, it's logistically difficult. Can't do that. Can't no, do that. logistically difficult. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it is about, well, not necessarily about Tom Daly, but Tom Daly has, has, has spoken about an issue. Okay. Um, so, and it's quite good. Actually, oh, okay. So, so, so a couple shortage of, of Angora wool. No, 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 no. A couple of months ago, we had the story of Jake Daniels that the 
professional football it. player who 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 came out. So Tom Daly has kind of said that he's 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 kind of talked about how it's brave and incredible that he's done that, um, and because he, for the majority of his career, Tom Daly didn't say anything about no. his sexuality. Um, there's a bit now. I I have a bit of an issue with this photograph. Is it the I'm Tom Daly? Sure, what has he got around his neck? <laughs> he's quite clearly knitted a cock and balls. <laughs> I don't know if he has, but it looks like... <laughs> he quite clearly has knitted a cock and balls. Is that not where he keeps his gold medal? In a cock and balls. In a cock and balls. <laughs> I think the gold medal bit goes in the balls and the, and the, and the, the chain that's bit goes in the shaft. That's quite clearly a cock and balls. I'm sorry, that's not... I <laughs> <laughs> He's quite clearly wearing a cock and balls. Okay, yeah. So, um, so it was in May this year that the Blackpool um, oh, FC what... forward... Spoke about being um, a gay um, and um, being a gay, being gay. Okay, this from the Daily being Mail, a gay, um, <laughs> and other right wing shit. No newspapers are available. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Daly is, is kind of like said, "Oh, that's great." I'm I'm kind of wondering if Tom Daly might slid into his DMs. Oh, probably. <laughs> you would have thought. Yeah. You know, when everyone used to lust over Tom Daly because yeah. he was young and gay and twinking yeah. with a body. Now we've got a professional footballer who's young and gay and, gay and twinky. Um, yeah. yeah. So what 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 Tommy's like saying is that that it's a groundbreaking, incredible moment. I think I think about what it means for any queer young kids growing up thinking now maybe I do have a place in football, mm -hmm. maybe I will get in, maybe I will be welcomed. Um, and he's kind of like encouraging other sports people to to come yeah. out, yeah. Uh, which is great. So I want he wants to make it safer for other athletes to do so. Um, the fact that Jake has come out is a really powerful message to send. He continued, there is such a powerful invisibility and telling our story um, to others. So good for him. So that that was positive. And then then he talked about you know buying his knitted jumpers, um, yeah. which is <laughs> which is a given in his new cock and ball set. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just it's like what am I doing? Oh, like, like, <laughs> knitting something lovely. What is it? Cock and balls. He's got cock and kids. Balls. Well, it's to keep his medals in, I told you. Anyway, that's that's the end of this week's show with news. Cock and balls. Thanks, Lake. Always nice to know that Tom Dale's got cock and balls around his neck. But coming up next, we have our game of the week. Talking. You're doing. There we go, good boy. Yeah. Have you done it? Okay. Anyway, um, you're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're playing Fast to Hind, and this one's off for Lee. So, you're going to skip away today? Barely, barely left and... <sighs> Game of the Week. So, for this one I've got a range of topics. Lee gets to pick a topic and answer a question. Ooh. You ready? Mm. Oh. Yeah, mm. lovely. So what topic would you like? We have history and religion or the arts and music. Oh, you're not giving me the full selection. No, because we'll work through the selection. Okay, so history and religion or arts. The arts and music. I think of arts and music, Mike. Arts and music. Okay. Being a showbiz expert that I am. Yeah, okay. So what type of sculpture represents a person from the chest up? A bust. Right, isn't it? No. You what? No. From the chest up? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bust. No. It is, mate. Don't you doing it on purpose because you know that I'm right. <laughs> it is a bust. I, I knew know. it was. <laughs> Just watching the anger levels rise so like straight away is brilliant. <laughs> so your choice is now between history, religion, and geography and nature. Um history and religion. What was established at Botany Bay in Australia in 1788? Was it? Oh. It was the first. It was the first. Um, um, it was the first. Yeah, it was the first British Excellent. settlement. It was what? The first British settlement. No. Yeah, it was. No. Because they got off the boat. Okay. So I asked, what was established at Botany Bay in Australia in 1788? First British settlement. And the answer was a penal colony. Is it still there? A colony. <laughs> No, not a penis. Oh, okay. A prison. <laughs> Again, is it still there? <laughs> it is still there. <laughs> um, so the next question, you have a choice between geography and nature and entertainment and celebrita. 
Oh, I'll go geography and nature. Take myself out of my comfort zone. <laughs> By answering a question. <laughs> the famous Sikh holy site at Golden Temple is located in which city in the northern Punjab? Ooh. Gujarat. Say Gujarat. Yeah. Wrong. Um, <laughs> the answer is um, Army Star. Oh, I wouldn't have got that. No. no. Apologies if I've mispronounced that. Um, so your choice is between science and invention and entertainment and celebrity? I'm going to go for science and invention. I'm saving the entertainment one. Okay. Which classic board game originating in ancient India is based on the Hindu belief of attaining Nirvana? Hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's wrong. Um, it's snakes and ladders. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, now you know. Well, like, yeah, because that's like you're ascending, aren't you? You are indeed. And then, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So your next, your next question is between sports and pastimes and science and invention. Mm -hmm. Sports and pastimes, please. Or willingly chosen sports. Yeah, get it out of the way. Who literally spilt blood for England in a FIFA World Cup qualifying match in 1989 against Sweden? Um, <laughs> yes, against Sweden. In a World Cup match? Yeah. I don't know, football. So, so why was the World Cup match a bit important? No. Why did that need <laughs> clarification? I'm going to go, I'm going to go with, see, the, the two that I would have thought... Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to cast my mind back to where I might have gone. Ugh, turn that over, and seen it on the the screen. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Gary Lineker. Nope. Oh, is it is it the other one? What's the other one? Um, the one that sang "Fog gonna die in his own mind, own mind." Uh, Gaza. No? Gaza. Gaza. No. No. Terry Butcher. Oh, I would never know. I like his sausages though. Does he make sausages? Playing his name, man. Butcher. What, Terry? No, that would have been oranges. Chocolate yeah. kind. Entertainment and celebrity. In 2005 film, Walk the Line, which actor played Johnny Cash? Ooh, I think I know this one. Okay, well, answer it then. I think it's right. Joaquin Phoenix. No. It is! It is, because I've seen the film. It's not, it's J. Quinn Phoenix. No, it's that's how you say his name. Oh, J. Quinn Phoenix. Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix. J. Quinn Phoenix. Joaquin. J. Quinn. Still got it right, whatever. Yeah, I'll give you half a point for the surname. No, there isn't a half a point. <laughs> okay, so you get no points then, because it's J. Quinn. Right, um, so your choice is between history, religion, and entertainment and celebrity. I'm going to go for entertainment and celebrity again. Okay. Which hitmaker fronted the all-girl band, the Go-Go's? Belinda Carlisle. Latoya Jackson. No, it wasn't. It was Belinda Carlisle. Latoya Jackson. <laughs> As if she's <laughs> fronted anything. <laughs> <laughs> the whole family don't make that. They do. They all laugh like that. Have you never seen her on Drag Race? No. She, literally, whenever she gets on Drag Race, she goes, hee hee hee. <laughs> just so it's like that, yeah. <laughs> um, so arts and music or geography and nature? Arts and music. What was the surname of the American poet Ezra born in 1885? More than 50p. A pound? No. Ezra a pound? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Ezra pound. Ezra pound? Not a pound. Ezra pound. Oh, no, just Ezra Pound. Ezra Pound. Yeah. I've never heard of them. Really? 1888? I thought, you know. <laughs> that would have been the height of my school. teenage years. <laughs> yeah. Like, too busy listening to smack my bitch up and... Yes. <laughs> um, in nature, soldier, red and fire are all types of what? Ants. Have you read these already? No, but some, some I can just get straight away because that, yeah... What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these now. Uh, seriously, I, that, is, that anybody would get that question. That's that's an easy one. Okay. Shuffling has happened. 
So, I'm jealous of my brain. What external factor enables the body to get D? Pardon? What external factor enables the body to get D? To get D? To get D. Vitamin D? Yeah, or dick. Yeah. You see, two are very separate. <laughs> the external well, would be grinder if you're going for the D, <laughs> as in the dick. Okay. Um, the sun, if you want the vitamin D. Oh, ultraviolet light. It's the sun. It's the sun. The sun in the sky. Ultraviolet light. Yeah, the sun from the sky. sky. No, not, not the sun. Ultraviolet light. But that's what the sun gives. So the ultraviolet light light. Oh, he's, he's just been pedantic now because he's angry because I've answered loads right. I'm not getting choices anymore. Just giving me what you... No, you're not getting choices. <laughs> I've given up with the choices. <laughs> Which common silver-coloured metal is liquid at room temperature? Which what? Say la la la? What common silver-coloured metal is liquid at room temperature? I'm going to go for mercury. Is it? No, it's mercury. I know it was. <sighs> I'm sure you've read these. I haven't. I'm just clever today. <laughs> <laughs> Because you turned up to the studio before everybody else, which is rare. <laughs> which is very suspicious. <laughs> yes. Right, a good couple of hours before anybody else turned up. Right? The auto queue was already on, so you knew what game we were playing. Just yeah, saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I've had my weeks a bit. Which former star of The Apprentice caused repeated controversy with her appearances on This Morning? On This Morning? Was it the one who stuffed her horse? Died and she stuffed it and has it in a in a in a hallway that we we did on Showbiz a while ago. Louisa Zuzman. No, it wasn't. Oh. Now the problem is when I say this name, it's automatically going to beep as it comes out of my mouth. Oh. So when I say it was actually. <laughs> see, it just beeps. Oh, she was. That, oh yeah, she started off. I forgot that. Yeah. She's still alive. Okay. Yeah, I just think it's made it say. <laughs> it just beeps. But yeah, I think you did really well this week, you cheater. I'm not cheating. It's the brain. The brain uh -huh. is the brain is on full capacity. Yeah, just remembered all the answers to the questions. Well, stick around because after this break, it's time to get our craft on in Crafty Queens. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud. And now it's time for this week's instalment of Crafty Queens. This week, Mike, because I was getting a bit fed up of your disparaging comments about the amount of toilet roll tubes that I was using in my, in my right, section. The and the comments is because you're asking me to supply the toilet roll tubes. Mm. I don't poop that much. So we're gonna we're gonna try, we're gonna do something with wood. Hey. Yeah. yeah. I now, like wood. <laughs> I have only watched the YouTube clip of this once. Oh, God. So, um, and in the YouTube clip, it requires us to use brackets and uh -huh. screwdrivers. We're just going to use glue. We're going to use hot glue. Okay, so we're, we're, the thing that you injure yourself on more than you would, like, screws and stuff. Yeah. Right, okay. But it's quicker. Yeah. Quicker. So... Have you ever been sat in bed in the morning and thought, oh, do you know what? I, I could do with something just to kind of put my morning brew on. Yeah. Just, you know, my bowl of cornflakes, my... Oh, no, I don't eat cornflakes in bed. Okay. Well, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna attempt uh -huh. to make a bed. A bed? A whole bed? No, not a bed. That's, that's ambitious. <laughs> a, a bed table. Oh, okay. Yes. Not like a bedside table. Got... No, an actual bed table that can go over your go over your lap. Oh, okay. And we're going to use um, wooden coat hangers. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can try it with plastic coat hangers. I probably don't think you could. Okay. Because right, so you've got four so, um... so, or, or wire hangers. No, no, no wire, wire hangers. Wire hangers. Ever. Um, so you've got cultural four... reference. You don't care, do you? No, I, I got it. I got it. Um, so you've got four wooden coat hangers. Uh huh. And a wooden chopping board. Uh huh. What we are going to attempt to do is create a frame. So okay, take two, take two of your um, take two tablets and see me in the morning. <laughs> take two of your uh, coat hangers. Uh huh. And they want to be that shit. That's that's the um frame bit of it. Like a big M. Yes. Big M for Mike. Yeah. 
Now, or mastication. If you, you, ideally, you would have taken the hook bits out first, but they're very, they're, these are very secure. Okay. We can't do them. So then, what you want to do is hot glue gun and put some hot glue all along one edge of the coat hanger. Are your batteries running out? Is my battery what? Your batteries running out. It took you a very long time to say the coat hanger. <laughs> I was just making sure. I've I've lost words. <laughs> okay. Right. So once you've got your hot glue gun on one huh? side, glue that, stick that. I actually think this might work. Oh, that'll be a first. And hold it. Hold it. Until it... You've got little bits dripping off. I have. I've got some spillage. Seepage. Okay, just wipe those off. I'm not wiping off the hot glue with my finger. So actually, you know, it's not not. I'm just gonna leave it there as aesthetic okay. overspill. That's quite that's relatively sturdy, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Okay. So you wanna repeat that with I'm just getting the glue off my fingers with the second one. So again you've gotta work out. Oh, there's a separate one. You don't want me to attach them to each other. Hmm? You don't want me attaching them to each other. No. Just like that. No, 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 don't do that. No. No, you want two separate ones. Oh, two separate ones. Okay. Yes, two separate ones. Because those are going to create the legs. Okay. I'm not hearing the characteristic screams of... No, I'm being very I'm being very safe today. <laughs> I'm upset by that. <laughs> <laughs> and then glue that on him. It, it, this may it may well happen. There, there's some very disparaging remarks coming through the yeah, but it's Crafty the, Queen, so we expect that gallery. to happen. Because normally they're accurate. I have a fe I have a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. <laughs> that this is actually gonna work. Right, so you've got two There's a, there, so they're going to be like the standing up bits. Oh, no, I've made a mistake. What have you done? Because look, on this one, the hooks are going that way. And on this one, they're going the other way. Can I just turn it around? Because I don't think you've glued it properly. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah? But the hooks are going the different ways. Just turn them around, Mike. They're still going the different ways. No, turn the actual hooks around. Okay. <sighs> right. So th this is the bit that I'm not quite sure about. Okay. So your wooden chopping board. Yeah. Is going to be the base. Okay. So try. <laughs> <laughs> try it first. Is that the right way? Is it? So so. <laughs> You're asking me if... I don't, I don't know. So you're telling me that that's going to go over my body? Yes. I've been dieting and I have lost a little bit of weight, Lee, but that is not going to cover my body. Well... Might do a leg. Might one thigh, it might do. Just just over one of your legs. Oh, okay. So what you're going to do is... Yeah. Or... No, that doesn't make any difference. It's still the same. <laughs> still the same. Yeah, I just need a bigger chopping board. It's you so you need it, a bigger chopper. Whichever way you want to do it, so you can. Yeah. Do it, I would do it that way. Okay. Right. So, put glue uh -huh. along the edge of one of the sides, length, no, width sides of the board. Yeah. Yeah. And then position that. That's a really interesting way of doing it, Lee. What? Use, using glue as an edge. Because what what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to rest it on top of the glue. Okay, you do it whatever way then you want to do it, it. You know, if it breaks for whatever reason, I don't get it. Well, we'll see who's is stronger. Yeah. By standing on them. Yeah. I'm quite impressed by this. I think this might be the future for all furniture assembly in my house. What, boards and glue? Look. 
No, I'm not touching. No, I'm not putting my tongue through. That was a request from the gang. That was a request from the gang. <laughs> Can't um, hear the voices in our heads. Okay, so glue on the top. I can see. Ow! I can see this. Mm -hmm. So we've got guests in the studio with us today who are watching, and I think I think they're very impressed as well. It, oh! <laughs> yeah, because one, one's asleep and one's crying. <laughs> Rocking from side. <laughs> <laughs> Mouthing the words help, and I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I think I might I might have to kind of turn it the other way around just to. S I think I've made a mistake. Solid no, that's not going to work. Ooh. Gallery, yes, it's supposed to be a little breakfast table. Ah ha ha! It's freestanding! Nobody breathe. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. I took a breath. I said nobody Ow. breathe. <laughs> it happened. You touched the hot glue. <laughs> oh no, it's all gone wrong! <laughs> the whole yeah, thing. Put your hot brew on this in the morning. <laughs> Because that won't go horribly wrong, will it? Because <laughs> the last thing, you know, who, who doesn't want first degree burns on the first thing? Wait, you I think the idea is there. The idea is definitely there. It, the execution is... Shoddy as always. This is, yeah. this is why it says screws and bolts and brackets. Not a WhatsApp message at 8 o'clock at night saying, we'll just use hot glue, Lee. it'll be fine. Who would just come up with a stupid idea like that? <laughs> right, let me put more hot glue on and see. I mean, did, did you turn around to that person and say, you know what, there's no way you're using <laughs> knives and shit, nails and I shit? Yeah, I was like, there's no way I'm going to... Oh. So, no, it just does it. Yeah. Yeah. Another successful session, I feel. You got really excited for that working. Yeah, I, I did because it was initially it was working really well. Look, those have stuck together really, really solidly. Anyway, if, viewers, if you if you do this at home, please send us photographs. We'll be overjoyed to see. So, until next time. I forgot my catchphrase. If you don't get any peen. If you or can't any get any peen or any of the gene, be a crafty queen. I think that was that worked well. It worked really well. These, they, these are like strange. boomerangs. Boomerangs, yeah. <laughs> when your dry cleaning needs to be sent away. Yeah, that that's quite that's that's solid. That's not coming off. Okay. Strong me. Yeah. Yeah. You know what we've made there? Firewood. Firewood. But it's almost the end of the show. Remember, you can join us on our social media at the Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv and, of course, on YouTube and podcast services. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a really shit. Oh. <laughs>